Good morning. Don't care. Anyway, this video is what happened at WWDC 2023. And don't matter that it says September because this was WWDC. I'm not filming this. I'm totally not filming this in May. So let's get into it. We all know Apple and we know they're very high budget. But I'm not very high budget. So what I'm trying to do is get this video out early. So what this is going to work is I'm just going to pick up my phone and record while I'm watching the keynote. And I will clue you guys in on what's happening. So let's cut to the day because it is still May. And we have the live stream up. It's currently going. And I'm wearing a consumer face. But we have our fidget popper because I'm a teenager in 2022. 20 23. So I need a fidget thing. And I'm like it. So let's see what's happening. It literally already started. It's only 101. And I realized it caps out at 1080p for live, for live streams. Like what? I missed it. It just said good morning. God, this is stupid. Listen to Tim Cook people. Apparently this year marks the 15th anniversary of the App Store. Let's go. He literally just said some of the biggest announcements ever. I think we're actually getting the VR headset. What the heck? And it's time for Mac OS 14. I have absolutely no clue what's going on. This does look like Apple, white insides and all, the interior. I should probably pick this up less. I'm gonna have so much to edit. <laughs> They're currently talking about the M2 MacBook Air. I think we're about to get the 15 inch. Let's go. 15 inch MacBook Air, let's go. Yes. Let's go. They hyped this up. Let's go. 15 inch MacBook Air, baby. They're talking about the um, they're talking about the colors like they're new. Like, we had the same colors last year. Big deal. Yeah, the vibe I'm getting from this is we took the M2 MacBook Air, put it in a 15 inch body, thank us, and applaud us. Like, this is, like, it's a good product. I assume it will be, but it's just the M2 MacBook Air in a 15 inch body. It's, it's no difference. We're literally only eight minutes into this, and they're already talking about how amazing they are. <laughs> They just announced this is only $100 more than the 13 inch. That's what? The MacBook Pro is $500 more for two inches more, which is the same for the Air. What? This is crazy. They brought down the price. This is now one. What? Okay, this is actually really good. Yeah, they updated it. I didn't think so yesterday, but yeah, they're updating it. I think they're hyping this up too much. It's literally just a spec bump. Like, introducing M2 Ultra. This is actually like. This is probably what we expected. I mean, it's Mac Studio, it gets the Ultra chip, but like, is there gonna be an op? I feel like they should just put it in the Mac Pro, get, just satisfy people. You gave them a two year deadline, you did not fulfill it. They're talking about the Mac Studio. I'm still hyped about the MacBook Air. Mac Pro, let's go. This is not upgrade, this is not gonna be upgradable. What? What's the price? I wanna know the price. Is this gonna be crazy too? Give me the price. 10,000, 10K, 10 grand. Nice, but what? It went up also, I it was 59.99 before, what? It's iOS time, baby. Simplified sharing, more intelligent input, and all new experiences for your iPhone. Personalized contact posters. What is this, Android? This is part of your contact card. This is about to become so cringe. Like I can already see people in my class just creating some of the ugliest things ever. But this is cool. I mean, okay, they changed some of the backdrops and stuff. Updated that. I kind of like that text. But like, hmm, it seems like they're kind of, is this really needed? Like, is it, how much people are actually need? Nice for Tim Cook. Bruh. What is this, FaceTime voicemail? Okay, this is actually kind of cool. They just know it's like an ETA thing, where if you get delayed or something, like, this is cool. They've just spent like five minutes talking about live stickers. No one is going to use this. Finally fixing this. Autocorrect socks. And we got the journal app, let's go. I actually dig that. That app icon was so good. Yep, they did, this was rumored a while ago by I think Mark Gurman iOS 17 is basically another iOS 14. Like it has some cool features like the journal app, you know, name drop, which I didn't talk about, but basically you can give your contact to people quicker. And like, it's kind of useful, but it's another iOS 14 where like, you aren't gonna use its features day to day, but they might be useful in the future. So I mean, why not? They're finally doing this. You know how like the they redesigned the iPhone last year? 
They didn't use the iPad. They're finally doing it. Oh my God. They're talking about PDFs, like there's some new thing. These things were invented like over a decade ago. When were PDFs invented? Editor put that on the screen, AKA me put on the on the screen. Cause if I don't say that, I will forget. I don't know about this timing. They've done iPad OS, new Macs and iOS. And it's currently about to load 144. So are they actually giving me XROS or? I guess I assume they're currently going to Mac OS because like they have to do Mac OS. Unless they're doing watch OS, they could be doing watch OS. Uh, no, Mac OS, all right. This is what I'm excited for, even though, because we know literally nothing, and I honestly like my Mac the most. Widgets on the home screen. Gaming, yes. This is what I want to see. We're getting a new game for Mac OS, what's this? Finally got web apps. Also, my earbuds back in. I'm currently using the YouTube web app for Chrome. They basically look like that. They're kind of simplified. They look kind of like Chrome web apps. What is this? Like what? They basically just added transparency 2.0, but they kept old transparency. Like you can get rid of, it gets rid of annoying noises, but let's in like voices and that sort of stuff. And we've hit watch OS, which I'm excited because watch OS 9 was not a big improvement. They added this where you can like scroll down. It's kind of like the Siri watch face, except you can like have something above. You got, oh, I literally just missed it, but there is a color one. Yes, I love Snoopy. I've gotten bored. They're like doing nothing. You were talking about health stuff. And he just said, those are our updates. Are we getting the VR headset? One more thing. Let's go. VR headset. Years in the making, VR headset. That's a horrible name. Eyes, hands, and voice. Use your, you can use your eyes. The interface kind of looks like this and it kind of reminds me of like Mac OS Big Sur or something. They're currently talking about Disney. I have no clue where this is going. Are they gonna like build in Disney movies for free or something? There's a fan. If this fan goes wild, we're gonna have problems. They can't even use the cool OS name. They have to use a vision OS. Yeah, they're using the iris scanning, which I guess we expected. Optic ID. What's your guess? My guess is 5K. What? I mean, that's still expensive. Okay, early next, early next year. Holy heck. But still, that's, I thought it was gonna be five grand. And that's it. WWDC 2023. Um, I hope this recap helped you guys know what's going on. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, comment down below what your favorite part is and if you're actually gonna buy any of this stuff. And while you're down there, you can hit the like button and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.